piss the girlfriend off. <laughs> Alright, that was enough of that. Hello, everyone. It's Adam here. Denali's sound bomb. This thing is the only aftermarket horn you should consider for your GS. Uh, on my last GS, I bought a BMW 5 Series horn, and it fit, you know, not perfectly, but it basically fit right there. Uh, this is the stock horn. Um, same connector, no error codes, really, really, really good, but um, nothing compared to the Denali Sound Bomb. There's a few ways you can do this. You can uh, just grab the Sound Bomb Mini with, and, uh, you know, do just that. This is the dual turn horn version. You can also um, skip some things, like this special Denali mount for it. You could maybe skip the um, the adapter for the BMWs. You may even also be able to skip the wiring harness. There's a few different things you can do here to mix and match. This is the setup if you want to do everything. So let's um, let's start off with this um, bracket here. This is how you mount it to the BMW GS. Uh, Twisted throttle slash Denali has done a good job of sort of piecing together everything you're going to need to uh, to get mounted up. So the R1200 GS sound bomb mount, there it is. And what they're saying to do is remove the OEM bolts for underneath the keyless ride. And then get the horn mounted into the bracket. And you're sliding it right in there. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to install the bracket right there underneath where the keyless ride is. So let's get that done first. But actually before we do that, here's the bracket right here. Here's the horn. Get the bolt. Uh, let's check out the wiring harness. So horn harness, posi tap, spade terminals, and cable ties. You can include the torque specs, which is nice. So there's your uh, wiring overview. Right in the harness. So you're actually hooking up to the OEM horn, and then you have the relay socket, and then to the battery, which we're gonna be using. Uh, we're gonna go directly to the battery. We're not gonna be using the PDM60 for this, I think, because I don't think the PDM60 will have enough amperage to actually push this. But we're gonna do some research on that. The GS adapter, which allows you to hook up the Denali cables to the GS horn bracket. And finally, Sound bomb itself. Standard horn 100, most active worker horns 110 decibels, and then 120 for the Denali. Kind of an arbitrary uh, graph there. There's no um, there's no values on the side. <laughs> anyway, holy shit! There's our bolt mount up right there. This thing is effing huge. Wow, I mean. They are absolutely going to hear you coming. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. And you compare it to the OEM horn. <laughs> oh wow, that's massive. I took a T45, I unhooked this horn. This is the OEM horn right here. <laughs> Let's compare it quickly to the uh the Donnelly horn. <laughs> Um, and you can see here there's a little uh, connector right here that goes into this bit here. I'm assuming that we can hook that same connector in to the, um, the $12 Denali adapter. So let's try this. Yep, there we go. There's our adapter. So you can see here these two leads are going out. So with that, we'll be able to take our... Um, here's our battery leads, our relay. If you follow this all the way down... The positive and negative, these go into the Denali itself. And these two pieces here are going to, it's going to go into these BMW adapters right here. So we're going to have to, um, Denali bit here will come down up this turret rail here to back there. The other one will come up the same rail and then it'll follow down below inside to the, sub, the upper frame right there. And then of course the back side doesn't really matter quite yet. See those two bolts right there? It's one of these two, I think, that we're actually disconnecting to uh, mount the sound bomb. Now we're going to get the um, the sound bomb mounted to the mounting bracket. Hit it with some uh, Loctite 242. 
And this is a self-locking nut as well, but... Honestly though, it seems like... I don't know, that wouldn't really hold. You guys just got really mounted up there, don't you? So we're gonna get a uh, 13 millimeter socket to get that done. All right, so we have it underneath. This thing is so massive. Uh, we have it now where it uh, completely clears the uh, the uh, front shocks. Um, here's your negative and positive. I'm actually going to wrap this in kind of a shrink wrap heat, go to shrink wrap all the way to the top and close it up because with this angle here, uh, I think water will get down in this hole and kind of accumulate down there. I've got it running straight back. You can see straight back there on the other side. I have it coming out right here where the ABS module is right there and then coming straight back underneath the ECU and then back to um, this point back here. Here's the relay. I'm going to mount that, you know, down there somewhere. And then for the, um, the battery terminal connections, I'm still investigating on the PDM60 compatibility. I prefer to have these go right into the power module, cut that short and put the power module right here. For the OEM controller, we have the cable running back through, coming behind here, behind this tube up. This is gonna get fastened down to this wiring harness right there. Coming straight through, you can see there how it's sticking out. We have both of them ready to get connected. Again, same thing, going to um, heat wrap those, heat shrink those. So it'll be a few days before I finish this video, but I will, um, the next scene will probably be the completed uh, wiring installation there. Piss the girlfriend off. <laughs> Alright, that was enough of that. So we fast forwarded a little bit. I know the bike's looking slightly different, but uh, we're wrapping up here the Denali sound bomb installation video. So uh, a couple of notes. Obviously fitment's great, as you've seen in the previous clips. Um, I did end up throwing two zip ties on the end here to keep this uh, closed up because it was kind of spreading apart a bit keep the water from coming in. Uh, we've got this coming back. We've got it terminating right here, held in with these zip ties. This is where the old horn was, so it's gonna be just like that. Um, it then goes back and it kind of disappears because it's right here. This is the sound bomb um, and the horn cables. So I've got it wrapped up here in this little bit here. It's gonna push down this little harness. Um, from there, I actually found it be a tool too thick, so I separated it out and I kind of stored the excess right here underneath the fuel tank. So there's a fuel tank and this is the air box is. So uh, I think I warned you guys earlier in the clip that this is gonna be a harder video for you to track because I'm doing it with the assumption that you just have a blank frame here. So uh, following this back, more Denali stuff. The relay I ended up fastening right here um, because part of this cable has to go back to the uh, power outlet here. Uh, and then the other part has to, uh, well, hang out back here basically. Uh, it is fully OEM, so I'm, I won't do a test because we're inside, but um, it, it does work flawlessly. So without the ignition running, you can um, turn the bike on, don't start it, press the horn button, it works just fine. Um, I was going to do the PDM-60. I was going to wire into the PDM-60. I decided not to, though. And the reason why is because um, the Nolly Sound Bomb harness basically makes it where you can install it with the BMW without any sort of extra complications. And because the horn is only running, it's only drawing power when I'm pressing the horn button, I felt that it wasn't really necessary to wire it into a power uh, module because there's really no risk of the horn being one of the devices that would um, wear down the battery, uh, the bike's battery. So the fact that it's not gonna wire in the bike's battery, and I'd be adding another module that's a little more complicated. Um, even though the PDM60 can support the uh, 20 amp draw uh, per circuit, I didn't do that. So uh, this is definitely closer to what you would get um, if you were to do this yourself. So run everything back here, fasten the relay to right here, and then run the necessary power cords back into the positive and the ground. For us, we just have one ground because I've got another ground that I've made myself, but Put it straight into the ground. You're good. It's very, very simple. Um, no errors. I turned the bike on and it just, it just blared. <laughs> so uh, awesome, awesome upgrade. Um, Matt was over and he said, 
he he didn't think there was any value in adding an aftermarket horn and uh there is <laughs> definitely is so you can see it right there the sound bomb is kind of hanging out down there in the front um yeah i i think you know the denali sound bomb itself is 130 you've got to spend an extra like 10 bucks for the uh connector then an extra like 30 dollars for the bmw specific wiring harness spend the extra money because it makes the whole thing very plug and play um you know you've got Basically, they give you the right hardware to connect it up right here to the uh, triple tree or the upper frame mount. And they give you the right hardware to plug right into the OEM horn housing and the right hardware to run straight to the battery. Um, I, I can't complain about the packaging and everything. Just be, be wary when you're ordering the sound bomb. You need to select both the um, BMW mount um, bracket and the BMW wiring harness. And that's what's re required to make this as simple as possible. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry I can't give you a horn clip, but you'll hear it in future videos, I'm sure. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, ride safe.